as my father was the third employee back in 1964 when he purchased it from the founders, we found ourselves selling solvent to the body shops and they were generating waste. And what did they do with it? Ah, weed killer in the backyard, throwing it down in the trash. And we found a way to go out and deliver solvent and pick up the waste bring it back to our paint manufacturing plant and recycle in those days 100% was used back into our product line. As the environmental laws changed, we were able to use 80% and fuel blend and send that fuel blended material to cement uh, kilns and they used it instead of fossil fuel. Today we find ourselves um, 35 years later after recycling, we find ourselves at a new tipping point because many of the paints now are water-based and um, you can't burn water. And so now we're looking at other renewable waste to energy type um, solutions. So as an old line manufacturer, still thinking that there is a way to be more sustainable. One of the fun things though, nine years ago, is I was appointed by Governor Schwarzenegger to the California Air Resource Board. Many of you have probably heard of this board. It is the state policy board that uh, regulates our air quality. And our board has led the California um, through our legislature to actually reduce our footprint and through AB 32, which the voters of California upheld against the, um, some of the oil manufacturers that tried to get that reversed, we are reducing our greenhouse gas footprint through things like cap and trade, the low carbon fuel standard. We're still reducing tremendous pollution areas through clean cars. But I can't emphasize enough the last part of this film that talks about the power of the consumer. I sit on that board and I hear manufacturers say, Sandy, we're building it, but they're not coming. And so sustainability does have a price for the early adopters. It is hard. If one drives, as I do, my leaf, you learn that there's a range and you learn that, gee, it might be hot, but I'm not gonna turn on that air conditioning so I can make it home on my charge. <laughs> but these are things that we need to do in order to extend the life of those batteries to make them better. So if we're not willing to be a little inconvenienced as consumers to help these companies in their sustainability goals, I can tell you firsthand as a policymaker and as a businesswoman that uh, we won't conquer it if unless we do do that. So I encourage you as consumers, make those choices and be early adopters. And thank you so much for having me here today. Great, thank you so very much for a good long round of applause.